today on Rappler. Justice Secretary Laila de Lima says her department may probe Vice President Judge Marbina. Bonuses are called bonuses. <laughs> They're not supposed to be taxed. Congressman Miro Kimbo says tax-free bonuses will increase the Filipinos' purchasing power. And the first case of Ebola infection in the U.S. sparks fear. Hello, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Welcome to Rappler, your social news network. Just as Secretary Laila de Lima hits the camp of Vice President Judge Omar Binay for overreacting to her statements about her plan to investigate corruption allegations against Binay. Binay's party, the United Nationalist Alliance, accused de Lima of having, quote, prejudged the matter following her, quote, sudden interest in the controversy. De Lima earlier said she will most likely investigate Binay based on the information disclosed at the Senate hearings. Former Makati Vice Mayor Ernesto Mercado led the charge in a series of exposés against Binay before the Senate, the latest of which points to a 350-hectare farm in Rosario, Batangas. The Commission on Audit says the Office of the Agriculture Secretary Proceso Alcala misused 759.1 million pesos worth of lawmakers' funds. State auditors found that the pork barrel of 27 lawmakers were channeled to non-governmental organizations, mostly under the network of Godofrede Roque. The agency says the Agriculture Department used satellite agencies as conduits instead of implementing the projects itself. A Pulse Asia survey shows many Filipinos feel the president did not remain true to his battle cry of Tuwid na daan, or straight path. Only 29% of Filipinos say Aquino fulfilled his promise for a transparent and corrupt-free government. 36% of Filipinos say Aquino strayed from his policy, while 34% are undecided. Possible good news for wage earners. The House of Representatives on September approved a bill increasing the tax exemption ceiling of bonuses from 30,000 pesos to 70,000 pesos. Marikina Representative Miro Kimbo says if the Senate approves the bill within the year, Filipino taxpayers can enjoy tax-free bonuses by June 2015. We need to be able to empower the taxpayer. We are, they're the most tax burden in the mm -hmm. entire ASEAN. We have the highest tax rate. Bonuses are called bonuses, meaning they're not supposed to be taxed. They should be, right. They should be given to you uh, mm -hmm. in whole. It uplifts the spirit of the worker so okay. that when he goes to work, he's able to work better. He likes mm -hmm. uh, his environment. It's more productive. Knowing he can bring home more. Knowing that, knowing that he's able to bring home more or bring it as a whole as originally conceived. But, uh, this all the Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR, opposes the, the proposed bill. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLC's director Renato Solidum, says Mayon Volcano in Albay is having a non-explosive eruption. Authorities observed lava flow on the volcano's eastern side Sunday, stretching further down the slopes. Solidum says this is due to magma reaching the volcano's crater. Solidum adds, Mayon remains on alert level 3, with a hazardous eruption possible within weeks. Health officials blame a breach of protocol for the first Ebola infection on U.S. soil. On Saturday, a female caregiver from Texas tested positive for Ebola. Officials say the woman had extensive contact with Thomas Eric Duncan, the Liberian man who died in the U.S. Wednesday. The latest case underlines the United Nations' fears in the United States about Ebola, for which there is no vaccine or widely available treatment. Let's now look at Rappler's wrap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number 9, U2 faces a backlash for releasing its latest album, Songs of Innocence, to half a billion iTunes users for free. Some accuse U2 of spamming, calling it heavy-handed and inappropriate. About 26 million people downloaded the new album. YouTube frontman Bono says more people listened to it than those who bought their top selling album, The Joshua Tree. And at number 10, being forgotten on search engine Google will be a long shot. Google says it granted only 42% of more than 100,000 right to be forgotten requests. Google grants requests containing inaccurate or outdated information but not when public interest is at stake. For the full top 10, visit rapper.com's The Wrap. 
Britain's Queen Elizabeth II converse, confers honorary damehood on American actress Angelina Jolie. The title is given to those who render extraordinary or important non-military service in a foreign country. Jolie, a United Nations Goodwill Ambassador since 2001, campaigned to raise awareness of sexual violence in war zones with former British Foreign Minister William Hague. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Click how you feel. Your vote comes down to the mood navigator. Let's check out today's mood navigator. Right in the middle, one big circle and the only purple circle of the day, Floyd Mayweather threatens to sack his father over Pacquiao comment. This has 50% of people feeling annoyed and 27% feeling amused. If you can recall, his father's comment was that Floyd would fight Manny. That made people annoyed, co contributing to the mood of the day. Today, most people are annoyed. That's Rappler's Newscast for today, Monday, October 13, 2014. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.